Hey, I'm Matt Pat, and this is the Wired Autocomplete Interview. This is a journey in self-discovery today, my friends, so join me. Let's see what we got here. What is Matt Pat's full name? Matthew Patrick. People to this day still ask me, what's your name? And it's like, it's right there. It's literally right there. Wouldn't it be weird if it was like Brandon Rogers or something like that? So MatPat was one of those things that came about in middle school. So I grew up in Medina, Ohio, and at the time, two elementary schools merged into middle school, and all the kids from the other elementary school, they were like, Matthew Patrick, you're MatPat! And all my friends from my original elementary school, they're like, how did we never think of that? And it just kind of stuck from there. So MatPat became the go-to name. What did Matt Pat gave the Pope? So infamously, about, what, six years ago, I was invited to be a digital ambassador to the Pope. And so I got to meet the Pope. And as representative of the online gaming community, I gave him a Steam code for the game Undertale. Not the physical copy, mind you, the Steam code. For those of you who don't know, Undertale is a game all about solving problems with pacifist solutions, where it's not just about fighting and killing, but actually, like, coming to agreements with people and finding out what they need and having conversations with them, which felt like a really good example of the positive messaging that gaming can have. What is Matt Pat favorite game? At this point, so much of the games that I play have, have been for work, things that need theories about or are popular games. But my true favorite games are Chrono Trigger and Earthbound from the Super Nintendo era. Chrono Trigger is a game all about time travel and manipulating the future and, and saving the world from an alien threat. And Earthbound is basically a wacky adventure of you with psychic powers going around your hometown fighting giant ants and evil moles and again saving the world from an evil alien power. What is Matt Pat known for? I'm the nerdy guy online who says, but that's just a theory, a game theory, or film theory, style theory, food theory, etc. I'm the theory guy on YouTube. I take science, math, history, and, and deep nerdy research and fuse it with nerdy topics like movies, TV, video games, things like that to come up with wacky solutions. What is Matt Pat doing now? I am retired. I retired about three weeks ago as we're recording this. It is great. What does that mean? That means that I have less time spent in a recording booth, uh, polishing and, and writing episodes, and it gives me more time to pursue things like the podcast that I do and collaborations like this and the mystery lo-fi project that I have going on, or Creators in Fashion, where we spotlit a bunch of different creators who are doing amazing work in the apparel space. So really at this point, my job has transitioned away from online talent and online personality and into a creator who is telling cool stories and trying to uplift the next generation of creators. Seamless. Where did the MatPat PNG come from. I was one of, if not the first, PNG tuber. That is you using a like flat cutout of yourself and animating it around on screen so that way you don't have to appear on camera. And that really was born out of when I started my channel. I was destitute in New York and in between jobs and I didn't have money for good camera equipment, good lighting, things like that. And so I didn't like the way that I looked online. And so I'm like, let me just do everything in VO. And then just we inserted this little PNG of me to represent me on camera, right? So that image has persisted and withstood the test of time. Um, I think I can maybe do it again. It's like, I don't know if I'm getting the angle right, but this is updated for 2024. When did Matt Pat retire? A couple weeks ago, I did my last video. It was March 9th, 2024, and it has been great. It has been so wonderful and celebratory to have this time, and so thank you. Thank you for 13 years, and I am so excited for what the next couple have to offer. Why is Matt Pat so smart? I feel like that is not necessarily a sentiment that is shared across a wide swath of the internet, so thank you. What I would say is, I was lucky enough to have parents and teachers that really fostered a sense of curiosity in me when I was growing up. They told me that school was my job and that you know the best thing to be in life is a lifelong learner and to, to question everything. I recognized that I was in a really fortunate position where not a lot of people have that support around them. And so if I can serve as that to the next generation of people watching online video, that's awesome. How does Matt Pat? edit his videos poorly and slowly. I believe the videos that I edited myself were uh, compared to a, a bad PowerPoint presentation. 
at one point. <laughs> That's why we hired on a lot of editors, my friends. I recognized early on, about maybe two or three years into my YouTube career, that I was not an editor. And for me to actually make the show what I had always envisioned it could be, I would need years of practice and training, and I just didn't have that. And so that's when we partnered up with uh, one of my earliest collaborators. His name was Ronnie Edwards. And he was an expert in flash animation. And he was the man who truly made game theory look the way that I always wanted it to look. And together, the show was able to really thrive and grow. And at this point, now with us producing between 11 and 13 videos every single week, so that's unsustainable and why I had to retire. <laughs> um, at this point, we have an army of around 20 editors. And they are fantastic. They're some of the most talented people in the world. And as a result, it's one of those things where the editors now have their own editing school, where they train up the next generation of editors. And it's kind of a rite of passage in a lot of ways to bring in kind of like the upcoming group of editors. Ah, smooth. <laughs> Is Matt Pat? Coming back to YouTube, yes and no. Yes, insofar as I am popping on for new projects. You know, I just did this fashion show over on Style Theory and Game Theory, where we spotlit a bunch of creators doing awesome work in the apparel space. There's a new project that's going to be launching in a couple weeks. It's this music mystery project, where it's a lo-fi channel, and you can lean back and relax and do homework to it. But hidden in the cracks of it, there's a mystery and a narrative attached to it for all you lore hounds out there. So is there a day where I might start a new channel? Maybe, but not for a long, long time. Is Matt Pat's. Is Matt Pat on Jeopardy? No. 500,000 people signed a petition to get me on Jeopardy. Nothing. Not, not even like the college tournament. The kids turn. Come on, throw me a bone, man. <laughs> it has always been a life goal of mine to be a game show host. I think it would be super fun. I love playing games, but I also love hosting games. And then someone else connected us with people from Jeopardy. And they never got back to our emails. <laughs> So, you know, I, I feel like that ship has sailed. Is Matt Pat a millennial? Very clearly, yes. You can tell a person's generation by what they call Instagram, but I'm not cool for any of those, so I just call it Instagram. <laughs> But we have members on our team that keep me hip with the trends. We have uh, Ash on our team, who's our resident Gen Z. And so anytime I'm like, hey, is this Chugi to say? She's like, the fact that you called it Chugi is Chugi. All right, <laughs> duly noted. Is Matt Pat in the new FNAF movie? Yes, yes I am. It was uh, an incredible experience. Uh, never before in my life would I have imagined that I would be able to be on an actual film set of that size, of that caliber. And not only to be in a movie, but then to see reaction compilations of people seeing me in the movie and theaters like erupting in cheers. I am at 28 minutes and 22 seconds into the movie. And uh, the, the go-to line there is, is the classic line that I say all the time, but hey, you know, it's just a theory. And audiences really enjoyed that. Will I be in the new FNAF movie? I don't know, time will tell. My schedule's open, Scott. Transition. All right. Does Matt Pat have a podcast? Kind of. Um, our GT Live channel, which is our live streaming channel, I've always kind of run as a podcast where, yes, there's gaming attached to it, but really I want there to be a, a large conversational component at the beginning and the end, so that way it feels like you're just hanging out on the couch. So that is probably the closest thing that we produce. I am also the official host of uh, Like and Describe, YouTube's first official trends podcast. But no, do I personally have an official podcast? No, I don't. I host one, I have a live stream, but I do not have one. Does Matt Pat regret selling his channel? For context, uh, I sold the Theorist brand and the Theory channels uh, to a company named Lunar X at the end of uh, 2022. Do I regret it? Not in the slightest. It was the single best decision that I could have possibly made. The ability to kind of scale out what we've been doing and have more resources to attack more of these projects that were outside of my personal expertise, our team's personal expertise, our wheelhouses, has been wonderful. One of the things that you don't really appreciate until you're in the position is when you employ people, that's, that's a heavy burden. And that's a huge responsibility to take on. And so to be able to offload some of that responsibility onto a, a separate company and to know that there was financial stability there, to know that they were experts in, in hiring and processes and this and that has been tremendous. 
MatPat movies and TV shows. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie is, is probably one of the, the biggest ones and, and the most known of all of those. I also did another movie called Hero Mode, where I played myself as an online commentator talking about like, oh, this game company's making terrible decisions. I'm in two Transformers series, two animated series featuring the Transformers. And like, that's a, that's a huge deal. Like, in fact, uh, Mark Hamill is one of the voices in, in one of those series. So it's like, oh my gosh, I did a project with Mark Hamill, if you squint at it, we were at booths in probably separate parts of the world at two very different times, but we worked together. Matt Pat sub counts. I honestly don't know. We have so many damn channels. I think my last total ended up being about 41 million across the, the YouTube channels. And then on Twitter, I think I'm like 5 million followers. And then on Instagram, it's 1 million. And so in total, it's probably around like 50 million. At the end of the day, the thanks goes back to you. Without you watching, without you subscribing, without you clicking on that video, giving us a chance, we wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to employ all those people. I wouldn't be able to have a team of 20 editors and like a, a full staff of like 40 people around us to make the videos that we do. So you're welcome. Without you, none of it's possible. So thank you guys. Transition. And I think this is the last board. Who did Matt Pat marry? <laughs> I married a, a, a beautiful woman named uh, Stephanie Cordato, now Stephanie Patrick. Uh, she is my best friend. She is my partner in everything. We met in college. We met programming video games together, funny enough. We both needed an extra math credit in college, and neither of us wanted to take calculus. It would have been like 3D calculus, and it's like, why? why? That's stupid. So instead, we took this course that was considered to be an easy A. Uh, it was uh, video game programming. We ended up sitting next to each other in the class while everyone else was coasting through the class because it was very much an easy A course. Steph and I were the tryhards of the group. <laughs> the two of us kept trying to outcompete each other for best game in the class every week. But the final project was you had to partner with someone in the class. We ended up partnering with each other. Everyone else did like one level of a basic mini golf game. We did a five level quest with eight enemy types, all with different attack patterns, scrolling backgrounds, and a final boss battle with multiple phases. It was the uh, second half of freshman year in college, and we've been hanging out together ever since. Who bought Matt Pat's channel? Yeah. Who bought Matt Pat's channel? It's a company named Lunar X. They see YouTube brands as kind of the, the next generation of the biggest brands in the world, both entertainment-wise and product-wise. And they're able to kind of deliver the resources, manpower, and expertise of really scaling those out and doing things that we ourselves always wanted to do, but we're holding ourselves back on. And last, last and hopefully not least, who is Ash to MatPat? Ash is our resident Zoomer. Ash is 24. Uh, they are my co-host and producer on our GT Live channel. To me, our relationship is one of older statesmen and younger person teaching me how to stay up with the times. They tell me when I have to transition away from using the word drip, uh, <laughs> And just in general, keeping me up to date on all the spiciest of TikTok memes. So we're going to toss it slightly off camera so I don't knock any... Oh, I definitely ruined something behind the camera at this point. Thank you, Wired, for this autocomplete interview, and I will see you next time. And that's not a theory. That right there, that's a fact. See ya.